Today is equinox, September 22nd, 2020, and I felt inspired to share with you um, a bit of insight, deeper spiritual meaning about this special day. Um, since the ancient days, uh, ancient civilizations are native people from different continents. The symbol of the cross within a circle uh, was honored uh, as one of the most profound uh, symbols um, of consciousness within the material world. Uh, so, especially this point where the two lines cross and the point which is the crossing point as well as the center of the circle. This is the point uh, that symbolizes our transcendence uh, into a higher dimension and higher state of consciousness. Our ability to observe the three-dimensional world from another perspective, higher perspective, from the fourth dimension, uh, meaning being connected with our very soul, um, bending time and space, um, be becoming the king of the kingdom. <laughs> um, so especially the days uh, of uh, equinox, uh, twice a year, and solstice were um, honored and celebrated with special rituals connected to Mother Earth, because these four days in the year are the days when we can actually align ourselves with the consciousness of Mother Earth. And we can come as close as possible to that dot in the middle of the circle and the crossing point of the cross. Um, so I invite you uh, to join me on Saturday. We will be exploring this topic more deeply uh, through the process that I received recently that flowed through me, uh, inspired by Mohanji during the quarantine period in India that I was blessed to spend with Mohanji. And um, it's called the light beyond. Uh, so this is exactly the topic of taking responsibility for our lives, creating meaning, deeper meaning, and creating new reality from that deeper meaning based on the love in the heart. Love is not just an emotion, it's the force that runs the universe. And from love, everything else springs out. Only when we forget love, we go into illusion. And love is at the center of the code of light, especially golden light. So when we look at the setting sun or rising sun, we can actually, uh, at least for a small moment, connect with that special code of golden light. We know that the uh, ascended masters, saints from different religions are always depicted with that golden circle behind the head or the golden light. So the ones who have lit up the circle with the cross within and have risen uh, above the lower dimensions into the higher consciousness and have lit up their inner effulgence are the ones who deserve to have the golden circle behind the head and be depicted like that. And all of us have that potential. So on Saturday, I invite you to join me for a process uh, which actually is probably one of the most important steps we can take at the present time uh, to uh, become active in the process of awakening and give our humble contribution, humble but very valuable, from the light in the heart. So on Saturday, I will be explaining more on how I was inspired to um, help us connect with the consciousness beyond the sun, of the great central sun, which is the force that now aligns with Mother Earth and takes us to the higher dimension of unconditional love above the fear and greed and existence, reactive victim-based existence that many people are uh, in, feeling that life's life happens to them. No, on the contrary, we can together create a new reality. We can take that responsibility. We just need to know how to believe in the power of love in our heart and how to connect with that power at the uh, universal level. So welcome on Saturday. Uh, and my next video, I will be sharing with you a small process that I would recommend for today for the equinox. Lots of love.